Welcome to another episode of Between the Poles. I'm your host, Nietling Fischer, and today we don't have a book again. Jason Dixon, Ben. Um, ben Jason. Ben is a double barrel. Ben Jason. Ben Jason. Yeah, yeah. So your surname is not Ben. Surname is Dixon. Yeah. So it's short for what? <laughs> short for nothing. It's Ben Jason. You play lock for the Stormers when all the other locks are injured. That is a fact. <laughs> there were there were a couple of times that I was picked above other locks. I see when my... they were injured. No, 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 no. When they were when they were healthy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's not well, that's not what Wikipedia says. <laughs> Head boy for your school. Sang in a choir. Yes, proud of it. Studied engineering and uh, also playing rugby. Do you think you are better than other people? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I think maybe at school, uh, maybe in primary school, I, I was a bit of a, tried to perform too hard. But um, those uh, things that you mentioned, it's all things that I enjoy. I'm very proud of the choir singing. Um, I think if you ask my teammates, I've many weaknesses that are very apparent. So I don't think I'm better than other people. Uh, why did you choose rugby? It's uh, just a great sport. You can ask anybody in South Africa. It's, uh, I love the character building aspect of it. And I love the teamwork and camaraderie and the high performance. You have just said high performance. Okay. Thanks. Just in a nutshell. <laughs> what is your five year plan? Going at it with rugby at the moment. Um, I finished my studies recently. And um, so that's definitely part of the plan is to maybe get... Achua, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, we need some views. Please just tell a joke quickly. Got this old age home, trying to help out, inspire the old people about you know, the stormers and everything. The caretaker's like, help yourself, you know, chowing peanuts. Two hours later, caretaker's like, you know, don't worry about the peanuts. You know, since they've lost all their teeth, all they can do is suck the chocolate out of their bag. <laughs> Oh, good Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thanks, man. You look like a bright guy. Have you ever walked into a wall and not noticed it? Not recently, but as a kid, I, I ran into a glass door. I think everybody has a story like that. I, I, I walk into the Dier Kusaina often. Being tackled by you has been compared to a near-death experience. Will you maybe tackle my producer for making me do this interview? <laughs> And when you sing in the shower, do you close your eyes? Yes. Easy answer. I mean, where are we? So you're the guy that walks up to random people and just start chatting to them. You think you're that guy that most parents like warn their kids not to chat to? Um, I don't think I'm that guy. <laughs> I uh, usually don't uh, chat about too intense things, but I like to be kind to, to strangers. Sometimes it's like a two-star chat. Okay, quick fire questions. Let's wrap this up. Uh, favorite movie? Uh, Spider-Man 2. Favorite song? Praise you, Lord, from the Planet Shakers. Favorite rugby player? Dwayne Vermillion. Dwayne is cool. <laughs> favorite toy when you were a little boy or you still... A Still a little boy. Um, Magno men. I don't know if you guys know those, those rope. No, we don't. Little, okay. Don't know. They have like magnet hands. Favorite snack? A tempo bar. They discontinued it. That was another scintillating episode. Learned so much. Thanks. Can't believe they're still doing magnetics. I mean, I'm just here trying to create a show, giving me nothing. Mm -hmm.